Not a day goes by that you don't meet people whose lives have been changed and or saved um, or who started here at Springfield Hospital. I you know, personally think we're really just getting started. I think the best days are ahead. 100 Years of Caring, presented by the Development Office of Springfield Hospital and Springfield Medical Care Systems as part of the hospital's centennial celebration. We really needed to start building the history of the hospital in a way that was useful. We uh, had gone through identifying the first people who had been truly instrumental in forming the hospital and, and setting up the staff. And we knew that a lady by the name of Isaline Davis was part of that history. She wrote an article called The First Year in the Life of a Cottage Hospital. So Springfield Hospital was documented in the American Journal of Nursing in 1915. We researched uh, several books We've been to the library and searched the microfiche to fill out the blanks that we had. Uh, we've been to the town office and searched through records there. So it isn't just photographs and newspaper clippings. It's different aspects. It's different perspectives. Today, we celebrate the hospital's history and its future. A hundred years, that sounds like a long time. Um, and it means that this is a community hospital that's been able to survive economic issues and uh, is really valid in here for the community and taking care of them. And I think that's really important. Springfield Hospital, SMCS, is probably the largest employer in, in our uh, community here. It's such an important piece economically. It's really a pillar of our economic welfare. The hospital is just the anchor right here in Springfield. I was here close to 35 years. Uh, some of the greatest times of my life happened during that time. As a coronary care unit, we grew to be a full-fledged critical care unit. I've lived here in Springfield for a number of years and somebody in my family has been here since 1790 and I'd always had it in my mind to work here. I, I immediately liked Springfield Hospital because everybody seemed to be very friendly um, and most important to me was this very caring attitude that I see that carries over into the people that we care for. Um, people do truly come first here and I recognized that in my very first few days. This is a very special hospital. We have what's considered a level three hospital. And ever since there were really a organized emergency service here, it's been PAs with doctor supervision. It's worked for this community. It's very cost effective. And the, when we're put up against national standards of quality and satisfaction, we match up. And in some ways, uh, we, we're even superior. So the thing that Im impressed me the most about Springfield Hospital was how Everybody seemed to do their best to work together. The equipment that we have and the support that we have is better than even some of the university hospitals. One of the opportunities that we've had of in the last few years is the ability to use electronic medical records. So no matter where you're receiving your care, if it's at the hospital, if it's at one of the practices, if it's at River Street, we're able to look at information. Uh, we share information with Dartmouth, um, all looking at confidentiality, but the ability to have real-time information about what's going on with someone. The hospital's journey through the past 100 years has been good for Springfield's economy and the overall health of the community. We're looking ahead for better meeting the needs of the community through the development of the, the Federal Qualified Health Center or Community Health Center program here in the area. So the approach here was to basically take primary care and make it uh, the top of our delivery system, if you will, and really shift our focus so that we're looking really at prevention and improving health status as opposed to treating illness. And, you know, key in that transition was uh, tremendous support from uh, particularly the primary care physicians who very quickly embraced the concept of the the uh, Community Health Center program, which really is kind of the holy grail in terms of how primary care can be provided in a high quality, cost-effective manner. We're 
always looking ahead, always trying to be, you know, on the cutting edge of uh, knowing what the, the community needs as well as what health care is going to be reforming to through federal and state measures. You know, the health care business is really providing a service of, you know, taking care of the sick as well as keeping people well. As we look into the future of health care, Springfield Hospital and Springfield Medical Care Systems is focused on prevention and healthy living. There's an important mission here that the hospital and the Springfield Medical Care System serve, and that is to do all we can to bring the needed care to the residents of this area. One thing I've always been impressed with is the decision-making process always focuses around what's going to be best for our patients. I feel very proud of being in this hospital. I get my care here. All four members of my family, my wife and two kids, have all had their surgeries here. And I recommend to my patients to have surgeries here. And Springfield, has, for the last probably 30 years, has had very, very good CEOs, which means that you're going to have a strong hospital. But they've also had a very, very good board, people that are dedicated to it and people that have been in Springfield for a very, very long time and uh, have been willing to look at the future, set the course of the hospital and issue directives, if you will, on where we want to end up. And it's been very successful. I have no qualms about coming to Springfield because I think the health care and the people here um, and the atmosphere is, is A1. My daughter was here with, um, we thought, an appendicitis. She didn't have any health coverage, and I was quite worried about her. So she spent the night, and I was quite concerned, but um, Springville Hospital took care of that, the whole thing, and took care of her. And I got to tell you, I was forever grateful. And from that time on, I consider always giving and giving back whenever I can. Celebrate the 100th anniversary of Springfield Hospital by attending one of the many community events. I would like to wish the Springfield Hospital a happy birthday. I, hope, I think it's going to be a great time. We've got a lot of good events planned. Happy birthday, Springfield Hospital, and thank you for the start in my 35-year healthcare career. Happy birthday, Springfield Hospital. Well, uh, happy birthday, Springfield Hospital. May you have another 100 years. It's a wonderful thing to be part of Springfield Hospital, and I wish you a happy 100th anniversary. Happy anniversary and happy birthday. It's been great working here. Happy birthday, Springfield Hospital, and many, many more prosperous years. Happy 100th birthday, Springfield Hospital. I'm glad to be a part of it. Happy anniversary, Springfield Hospital. Happy birthday, everybody. Come to the Hill and get well soon. Happy birthday. For 100 years, that's wonderful. And you're still growing. Happy birthday, Springfield Hospital, and many more. Happy anniversary!